Okay. <laughs> I feel like I do we every intro. We have waited. That. But, um, For years, we have bled. Devoted our bodies to the great cause. Now, Earth, our only cause. Yerman Gunder. Well, hi guys, hello, welcome back to another Fulani video, a longer one, I believe. And today, as you can tell by the title, or, or, or what not, I am actually going to be reviewing this game, like, overall. Um, you know, For Honor, as you know, I've played this game a whole lot, a good portion of my channel is made of For Honor videos. Oh, uh, I have... I mean, according to Ubisoft's uh, replay thing, I have 516 hours on the game, 280 hours on PvP. Round one. At, at, at the, by the way, this is all at the time of this recording. I don't know. My future. In the past. But, uh. I have been added to the phone, 56 reps overall. I, um, I played this game for a very long And uh, it's a very interesting February 14th of Defeat! It's basically been three years. Right now on the year three. I have that as well. Year three. It has been it was developed Round by two. Specifically UBS, Montreal, Quebec, Toronto, Montepillar, Singapore and San Francisco. And that's that's what I was looking to up actually. It makes no super if that's, if that's the case then it makes all the glitches that happen in the game. Even more. Ad mortem inumicus! Yeah. Um Florida is very interesting. Victory! Uh, so, at this moment, let's probably talk about, you know, the bad. Round bomb. three. Which, which would probably be at the very, very beginning in this game. No dedicated servers. No server. To the brim of um, the which is like, the first tournament that's really had. Uh, you know, the Insta Warden Blitz, you know, um, No Superstice! Uh, Warlord Blitz, just constantly uh, pushing it around here, like five feet away. The game was widely in balance because of the Blitz and because of Warlord in general. Um, just instantly reviving stuff. Death for people from like one part of the map to another. To just having heavy armor. Any and everywhere we go. I mean armor in general would for Round uh, four. Just in case. There are clear tiers. I mean there are clear tiers now, but it wasn't as like disgusting as it was at the very beginning. The world was wildly unbalanced for the time being. And 
Also, the game was kind of wildly unbalanced as well. Being. Yeah, sorry about that. Being. I mean, having no dedicated servers, so. Uh, um, every other game would probably be disconnected. You would lose experience. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, you know, ha be able to play the game. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Bad, bad times. Uh, 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 our matchmaking system, which is still bad at this very moment. Very, very sad if I do say something. Very sad. And the fact that victory dying a little bit when it first came out. I've made posts about this, um, like very, very long. I think during my Round time, I still five. Like getting close to the Conqueror, or he's either Conqueror, Berserker, or like one of the very like, beginning of the play. But, um, but, um, but, um, but, um, no dedicated service on PC specifically. On PC. I don't know about um, Xbox or PS4. Um, not Xbox or PC. Um, Xbox One is dying pretty, pretty hard. No superstars. At a point of speed, I'm like fighting the same people. Every single time, just not like every other time. Either the bot or the wait time to be disgustingly long. Round one. Etc. 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 No people just playing the game or one for once again. And then you just have to decide to do a dedicated service, you know. Try to fix the game. Give me a fuck. No superstars. I'm more than Inomicus. Give me a fuck. Give me a fuck. Victory! Highlander? Jeez, I, I completely blank on him for a second there. Highlander and... What are you doing? Just snow being... Round all, two! A whole bunch of other things. And you know, giving more emotes, making this character not the more of the same thing. I'm not that Inamicus! It's me and my friend Chris, um, with the box I was talking about. Uh, 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 this game, like, at least the game, let it flow for a little bit, and seeing how, you know, uh, uh, how hard and sinking it is, that you just had to be so hard. No superstars! Which, I really don't understand why that's the case, but that is... And Victory! Going to weekend kind of Wildlands, um that our game that me and my friend is um is playing like on console. Ubisoft has a tendency to, you know, just release a game. But Round this three. is stuff that needs to be it could have been fixed but then just put out there and give up. But it was really evident with the honor. Um the point where it was <laughs> so, I know we talk about, you know, part of the plot of this game is, you know, even though I have 289, 
That's not safe. It's victory! Like a fighting game. This is, yeah, this is one of them, like, kind of like a fighting game. Where, even though the gameplay itself is very interesting, it's very the environment is very unique. There are too many people, like, rep 200 overall, or rep 100 overall. I'm rep 50, I played this game a lot, 280 hours, like, again, for like, it's rep 56 because I've been playing like a game because I have stuff to do. You know, I know, I know, it's very easy to, um, can get very easy to um, get reps, I would say. You know, play with groups of four Round one. and all have like XP groups. But you know, when you like, don't just kind of often have a game to do. Yeah. Playing with a low kind of, uh, Kind of job. like that. And then you said, no, I don't want to do And then you get One for the most part, because it's the one you want to call hard. Victory! But like, you get destroyed by either, you know, people just ganging up on you. Like, people who just know this game throughout the entirety of their lives. Round just two! Rep for myself. They had to, it used to be rep, 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 but they decided to add to my whole rep. For like, you know, and yeah. a lot of people yeah. have that. Rep, 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 I don't know about you, but... Like that. but yeah. Victory! I past, like... Because my highest um, rep is like 11. And, uh... It took Round me a while to get to rep 10. I could not imagine myself, you know, going past... Like 15, because Chris is like high as 14. And it's... I don't understand how people can just play this game for that and victory and uh you know it's like myself but not everyone's like that. Not everyone's like that. So it's it's very hard to get into this game. Round one. But if you're new, you're gonna get destroyed. You're gonna get destroyed in 1v1, most likely, and you're definitely gonna get destroyed, destroyed in 4v1. Yes, and I know that's the case for most games, but like, it wouldn't be a problem if the matchmaking wasn't complete after the It's actually like off. Rep, I feel like you should, you know, be allowed to pick your character. Before you act, you know, Death try to like before you go into Mac. Because even though I'm at 56, sometimes I want to practice a different character, and I don't really feel like going against a rep like 60 like Raider. Round two. He's gonna start attack me like all to hell while I'm trying to learn. Oh, sucks. And I deal with that problem a lot. Because you guys see me play like um, getting good, like. I get And you guys see that I with some You may be in characters like the flavor of the Black Raider, or maybe being with a high level Nabushi that is very good at the game, but at the same time, you kind of need to practice a certain character, and you don't want to do it. Victory! Oh yeah, there's that, you know. Bad, bad servers. You know, very hard to get Round to. three. I'm um, a beginner. Communities, honestly, not very good. 
I've never played the voice chat on because it's actually just it's actually can't. It's not as bad as it's not. But it's still not something that I want to do. So I've never played this very The memes are perfectly fine. The memes are perfectly fine, man. I like that. No problem. I'm not going to just do it. Just just yell at me. It's kind of uh, a bit much if I do say something. So, so bad shit. Unbalanced. Like some. Oh, like. Some. 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 Tier list will always, you know, be a thing in any game like this, generally speaking. But it's still to the point where, like, round four, some characters are just not viable. It's getting better at the very moment, but um, overall, it's not something. Like Like for honor, and like, oh, so I play. I'm like, no, because I'll be very honest, it's 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 gonna take a while to get into unless you're playing 1v1s. But that's I think that's enough of the negativity. Now it's time to talk about the good things about for honor, the good things about for honor, and you know, the heroes and, and such. And one of the, um, well, like, probably one of the coolest things about this game is generally how it looks. How the characters are portrayed, how it looks. They all honestly look pretty good. Like, not the default gear. The default gear is pretty eh about it. But for the most part, like, looking at my uh, backfire. Uh, it looks very good. The, the characters can look very good if you put enough time and energy into them. Which I like and dislike at the same time. Like, having a good looking character, um, you have to play them a lot to make them look the way you want to. Um, and I understand that, you know, you're putting hard, you put, you can actually see your effort, uh, your experience on the character, per se. But at the same time, like, the default looks for some of the characters, honestly, it, it, like it, it doesn't look. It's it's not bad per se. It looks plain as hell. Like looking at like my shaman. Like look at look at her. Looks plain as hell. Um, without any ornaments or anything like that. And just looking at just my current shaman, it looks just generally a lot cooler. I would say. You can clearly see, um, just by looking at them, the, the difference in skill and experience uh, a character has. Which is, it doesn't make the character look like outrageously different, but like it, it's different enough to, um, you know, to have like looks and such. But um, there's that. But at the same, at the same time, no, no, no. Let's continue on with the good, with the face. Let's. Let's continue on with the phrase. There's also, you know, the fact that you can change um, character's gender. So, I, me personally, I do not care about armor being practical or not. I do not care about um, boobs and like breastplates, boob plates. I do not, I do not care about that. I do not care if, oh man, this 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 uh, this armor isn't functional functional at all. You can clearly um, stab her. 
oh, stab her son or like that. Oh, bikini on me, stupid, blah, blah, blah. I do not care about that whatsoever. But this game does care about that to an extent. You know, except with the Viking characters, because Viking characters are uh, savages who don't wear any, uh, wear any armor. But it makes the characters look like they're actually going to war. It makes them, it's not like, it's not quote unquote sexist. Um, that's not my, that's not my way of wording it, but like in some people's way of wording it. Um, the characters look like they are going to war. It looks like it's it's kind of practical to some extent, you know. Um, you know, you can. I see this woman, and you don't see any boobies in that armor. I mean, you can't change the um certain genders uh, for certain characters. You can't change the Goku's. You can't change the Goose's. You can't change Peacekeepers. Like you can't change Lawbringer, which I wish you could. I'll be very honest. I personally almost always play female characters because they just sound, they just sound better. But, speaking of sound, uh, so I talked about, you know, fashion and such, um, I have time to talk about sound design, which is very, very good. I love the voice acting for almost every character, but just about every character. I love, even though, um, I wish they had a lot more lines. Overall, I just love the way um people sound. Everybody knows about you know the incredibles um memes that Centurion has the sad profunus or sad profunus like um lines for for love. I'm mean, not for love for Blackfire, Vortiger, Elizabeth, whatever you want to call her. You know the voice lines are all very good. Like, they're just appealing. They're just very appealing. I love the sound of, you know, Black Power's bass. I mean, I love the sound of, you know, the blades clashing together. I love the sound of, you know, pairing a light attack, which they did implement later in the game. It wasn't a base thing. I love the sound of that. I just love. I like. I just generally like, you know, the voice acting, the sound design of a lot of the characters. It is geez, very good. Emotes, um, emotes effect. Uh oh, then a pretty hit or miss. Some are great, some are, are fine, you know. Some are very meme heavy, like the walking penguin one, or the, the red eyed one. Um, the glowing eyes. That's, that's just a huge, huge meme. And Ubisoft likes, you know, implementing, you know, funny, huge meme elements to their stuff. You know, like the whole Raven Ravage events. You know, the events are also very, again, hit or miss. Like, for most, like, online games, there are, there are going to be events. And the events can be hit or miss from time to time. Black Pirates was okay. I never actually played the Heat of Curious one, but apparently that was very good. Yorman Gondas one was... Was alright. Was alright. Events... The events have been hit or miss. Oh, it's yeah. Guess it never miss, huh? Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. Besides that, fashion. But. I should also talk about. Again, hit or miss. I should also talk about. Executions. Now. The executions in this game. Are very good. I mean. Some are better for comparative like, standpoints. And some are just look. Very good. And it's it's a shame that they all cost so much like steel to get, which I mean a again this is gonna go into a problem that I have with the game again, but it's a problem with that most Ubisoft games have, and that's microtransactions, you know, and paying real money to actually buy in-game cosmetics. I mean, every game has that now. Um, at, at, this, at this moment, like, it's just how, it's just how things go, but, besides that, yeah, I really wish, you know, they would tone down the cost of executions, because they have a lot of 
very, very, very good executions for certain characters. But like at the same time, like there, it it costs a lot of money to do that. And when you are a casual player like me, the cost can get a little much. Can be a little much. I have a very decent amount of steel right now because I I save up, you know, and such. Uh, but, but, and because you know, loot crates and boxes. That being said, I'm not even going to talk about the, you know, the faction war because that's just a whole bunch of things that players. That's that's the own skill level thing, and I'm in. Though I'm, I'm from the Japanese side of things. I mean, I don't really care about you know the whole faction war. I'll be very honest with you. You know, the fact that Vikings basically win every, they've won two faction wars in, in a row, and the Knights have just. The Knights are just one big meme right now, because they've never won one. But, that being said, uh, Japanese have won one, so there's that. But, overall, it's just execution since it's, it's a pretty okay game. I can't recommend it to like people who are just getting into this because it's so, it's such a, a weird it takes so long to actually, you know, get good at this game. Um, and if you're not dedicated en enough, then, you know, stuff is just gonna... You're just gonna lose a whole lot. And losing really burns people to the core, generally speaking. That being said, like, if you're willing to, like, um... If you're willing to, you know, put in the time and effort for this game, it is very satisfying when, when, when you, you know, when you execute someone, when you do things on your own, it's it's a, it's kind of very skill based to, to an extent. Sometimes, you know, there are moments where like you're the, you should go go well, that's bullshit because you know, um, internet or you know, lag or blah blah blah, or lag switching or and such. But you know, you do with that with a lot of online play. That's 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 just how that's how, that's just how this game works. How games online play work work, but. I I personally cannot give this game higher than like a 6 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Even though this game is very unique with gameplay wise and uh, and characters just and I, with how long I've played it, playing it, it's just it leaves a bitter pill in my mouth um, knowing that you know it took so long to get this good and how there are still problems with, you know, the service and such, because I still get that game a lot. But, mm, but as you know, sound design, characters, executions, creativity design is just emotes are pretty good. And gameplay is pretty good. It takes, it takes too long to um, get good with the character, you'll get destroyed um, when you first start. When you first start with the story! Yeah, there's no point even playing the story, but like, I just did it to but, but yeah, um, that's just generally what I want to say, 6.5 out of 10, good, okay, but like, it could use some 